How's it going guys? So my name is Marvin Duncan. I do quality control here at Perk Coffee Roasters. Today, we are bringing you a super extra special coffee. It is the Gran Jala Esperanza uh, Mandela Anaerobic Natural. I want you guys to get the full experience of this coffee. So we decided to make a brewing video in order for you guys to have a great cup of coffee. Today, we're starting off with a few things. I specifically am using the Origami Dripper. So this is what I used in competition when I used this coffee, but any type of pour over method will work fine. I am using a flat bottom filter. If you're gonna use a cone, it works great as well. You just make sure that you follow the pouring parameters. Um, we also have our scale and we have our coffee, which we pre-ground. This is a, about a sort of medium grind size, almost like a kosher salt-ish type. Um, and today we are bringing 13 grams of coffee and we're going to use a total of uh, 200 grams of water. This is like a one to 15 ratio. It serves about one cup of coffee, but if you would like to share or if you just like a bigger cup, then you can just double everything that I say for the brewing recipe. Cool, so let's get started. The water temperature that we're going to be using is going to be at 203 degrees. We are going to break our, our pouring up into four pours. They will each be separated by 40 seconds. So we'll begin the first pour with 40 grams. And we'll wait 40 seconds. So typically with um, anaerobic coffees, you definitely want to let them degas. So the longer that you let this coffee rest, um, you will get better and better cups and sweeter and sweeter flavors. Now we're coming up on our 40 second mark and we're going to go to 110 grams total water that we poured. and we're going to wait an additional 40 seconds. All right, for our third pour, we're pouring to 160. And we're going to be waiting another 40 seconds. All right, now we're coming up on our two minute mark. We're pouring our last 40 grams, reaching to a total brew weight of 200 grams. And we'll wait for the drawdown. And the total brew time should sit somewhere around like two minutes, 45 seconds for a 13 to 200 gram uh, dosage. But for a 400 gram dosage, you want to have that brew time maybe about like 315, 320-ish. All right, right on time. So just off the nose, I'm getting really rich, um, macerated cherries, um, really complex notes of like chocolate, like it's boozy, it's also kind of floral, like in a citrus way, like citrus florals, maybe like a different type of florally citrus, like blood orange. Um, it's deep, it's rich. Mm. Yeah, so tasting wise, um, the first thing that sticks out to me is the sweetness, I feel like I'm experiencing like a juicy fruit or something like that. Rich, deep cherry notes, chocolates, candy, like uh, toffee, really floral, a deeper red florals, orange on the tail end, like in the aftertaste. But yeah, I like the coffee a lot. It's a, definitely a coffee for you to sit and enjoy and like really 
like ponder your life on or whatever. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can send us a DM, uh, send us an email. You can check our website if you, if you want specifics on the coffee information, or you can just like, you know, come into our shops and just like really share with us, like, you know, what your thoughts are. It's a really special coffee and we're excited to share it with everyone.